In Washington, as we reported, senators reached a deal to end the government shutdown. Both parties agreed to a short-term funding bill to keep the government open through February 8th. As of this evening, the House has enough votes to pass the measure. But there's still a lot of hard work left to do. Kayla Tauschies on Capitol Hill. Lawmakers have bought themselves less than three weeks to reach broad agreements on a host of issues that have eluded Congress before. First on the list, immigration. A promise of a path forward to protect so-called dreamers is what sold Democrats today. The Republican leader and I have come to an arrangement. We will vote today to reopen the government to continue no negotiating a global agreement with the commitment that if an agreement isn't reached by February the 8th, the Senate will immediately proceed to consideration of legislation dealing with DACA. The process will be neutral and fair to all sides. The White House consulted a half dozen GOP senators for what they thought could pass on a bipartisan basis, even as House Republicans are balking at the new February 8th timeline. Congress will also have to reach an agreement on a budget so they can stop doing these short-term spending bills. They'll also be looking at a health care replacement with tax reform having repealed a core tenet of Obamacare. But one thing will be different on February 8th. This bill included two sweeteners. For Democrats, the extension of children's health insurance for six years. For Republicans, the delay of certain Obamacare taxes. Those won't be around next time, and leadership will be scrambling to find new ones. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Kayla Tausche in Washington.